family welcome back to another video i hope you're all doing well i hope you're all doing good and if you're new here hello my name's kimberly and i hope you subscribe turn your bell notifications on to get notified every single time that i upload and give this video a massive thumbs up to be part of my weight loss journey family but as you guys can tell from the title of today's video today i'm going to be talking about my physique update i'm going to be giving you my current like fitness plan meal plan what i do day to day what i'm currently doing right now specifically to lose weight maintain weight just all the details of food, exercise, fasting time, routines, do's and don'ts, all the in-betweens in one lump sum video. Now I'm really excited to do this video because I always love watching other people's what I eat in a day or knowing what other people specifically do just to give me ideas. I mean I always say bear in mind every single person is going to be completely different. This is just to give you a bit of story time watch on what I do but remember it's going to be tailored to your own little thing but this is just some ideas. Now, so you guys know as part of my weight loss journey, it has been a long road and I've tried and tested so many different things. If you wanna see my other videos of the full story of what I've done up till now, go and check those out. But really starting from what I've been doing. Now guys, don't forget to come over and follow my inspirational fitness page on Instagram as well as my podcast page as well. Now, day to day, you guys know I incorporated intermittent fasting heavily in my routine. So first of all, I wanna start off by giving you what times I intermittent fast what days of the week, how many days a week. Now, first things first, I intermittent fast three days a week. Some weeks I'll do two, but a minimum two, maximum three. Now this is because at the beginning I was fasting probably like five or six days a week. I no longer do that because I've got closer to my goal weight. However, just to give you the effectivity of is three days or two days still effective? 100% yes. I do three to two days a week and I will always, always fast from 11 o'clock, 11, 11 a.m. will be my first meal of the day which is pretty easy I'm you know I'm getting ready for the day I'm rushing around the morning can be so hectic I don't even have a second to breathe so for me this works really well anyway 11 a.m. will be my first meal and I'll have my last meal of the day at about 6 or 7 p.m. that is my eating window I can eat as many meals as I want during that time as many as frequently as I want all within my calorie intake and I'll go into my calorie intake and macros intake in a moment but just to give you an idea that is my typical fasting day it never ever changes other than that it's always first meal at 11 if i'm really really busy it might be 12 p.m for example but it's always going to be that window and i always try to get my last meal at seven i mean if i'm rushing i'm like quick 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 i need to get home and have my last meal but i try to take my meals with me just in case people always ask when you're not fasting so say it's 7 p.m and you have that window up until 11 a.m do you eat anything or drink anything no just water and although i think it says like on guides 30 calories won't ruin your fasting but i have found it has for me before so i just have water during my fasting window and i'm asleep anyway so it's like it'll do food wise now going on to my food and how much calories and macros i'll intake and i'm going to tell you how i incorporate that in how much exercise and what exercise i'm currently doing so food wise I will always have protein with every single meal. I'm currently eating protein bars. So literally just before this video, I was eating protein bars. Now, this is an example of what I will eat for a protein bar, but there's so many different ones, okay? I can't actually recommend to you one specific brand. I'll just give you what I look for in a protein bar because literally on the go sometimes, I'll just want and try to incorporate all different flavors, you know, because different brands do different flavors and I'm just more of a flavor person. So for me, if it really incorporates into, for example, low sugar, low carbohydrates, high protein that is a good basis for me really really want to be targeting the protein because people who eat more protein end up losing 33 percent more weight so i will honestly honestly go for those things like the fact that the protein bars do have a bit of carbohydrate i never cut out carbohydrate protein bar will be my go-to snack as well as a lot of fruit so if you follow me on my inspirational fitness page on instagram you will know i eat a lot of fruit any time of the day whenever i want but again all within my calorie intake breakfast will normally be about a bowl of porridge almost always a bowl of porridge just because porridge is slow release it's going to keep me fuller for longer you can have so many different types of topping on top of your porridge whether it's a bit of chocolate a bit of fruit bananas which is fruit a yogurt 
any blended mix and every porridge bowl tastes so completely different because of that and I absolutely love that aspect. Porridge bowl for breakfast at the moment always. Lunch, I always have as little snack between breakfast and lunch and for this I'll normally have again fruit. Even if I've had fruit on my breakfast I'll have more fruit. I honestly do believe I'm eating way too much fruit but you only live once and it proves because there's this common myth that you shouldn't eat fruit for a weight loss journey but I still incorporate a lot of amounts of fruit. Um, lunch time will probably be toast. Now I am a huge bread eater. When I stopped, Before I started my weight loss journey I could honestly eat like five to six slices a day. I know. I know I really shouldn't. I really really shouldn't but that just meant I there was a, one of the things I really really wanted to hold on to and maintain within my weight loss journey and I know a lot of the advisors to not overdo it with the bread but I'll still have three or four slices a day. So for all my bread lovers rest assured I still lost whilst eating a lot of bread. Uh, so I have bread for my lunch time majority of the time but I also have so I'll have the bread with whatever I want on it not jams I'm talking about avocado on toast I'm talking about a little bit of uh, butter I'm talking about hummus on the toast or you can do a hummus dip and dip the bread in the toast so I'm talking about the healthier spreads not the jams really really high in sugar and it's gonna make you hungry. That's what I differentiate with that. You'd rather have those types of spreads. High sugars is going to spike your insulin levels and you're going to want to keep eating more and more and more. So after I've had that bread, I'll then have the second lunch, lunch 2.0, which normally tends to be like a chicken mix. I don't call it chicken salad because I am not a salad eater. I don't know who anyone who, if anyone else is, I just don't like large amounts of lettuce. I know you can have other things in salad. I think as a good salad filler, lettuce is really good because it's almost calorie free but when you start adding the sweet corns and heavy amounts of all these different vegetables it then makes it slightly unhealthier so I skip the salad part. I will have always have a bit of carbohydrate so I'll have chicken breast and I'll have a little bit of rice or I'll have, for example I've been ordering this Chinese takeaway uh, over, it's called Wagamama's but it's a lean healthier Chinese so I'll have like the dumplings and I'll have two or three dumplings with my chicken breast showing you the balance and you can still have that but uh, yes I still incorporate that in my lunch times. After that, again, I'll have a snack. Basically, I have a snack between every single meal at the moment. But I won't have another protein bar because I would have had one earlier. I'll normally usually have a dinner that is, again, high protein. So this will be, a lot of the time, it'll be salmon or it'll be chicken. Exercising. What exercise am I doing and when in the day am I doing it? Okay, I always, always exercise before my first meal that I was saying that's at 11 a.m. or 12 a.m. I always exercise before that. The reason why I do fasted exercising is because it allows you to burn more stored fat. A lot of the time when you exercise after a meal, you're using the meal that you just ate as energy to use throughout your exercise and that's what you're burning and you're never targeting the stored fat that you're trying to get rid of. So fasted exercise sees people sometimes lose up to 2.5 times more weight because you're doing a fasted exercise. Even if that's as simple as a fasted 30 minute walk, a fasted 20 minute jog, um, it's really, really effective. Uh, to do a fasted workout and I always try and make sure that I'm doing a fasted workout. The type of workouts I'm doing, so at the moment I'm doing 20 minutes on the treadmill because I have a treadmill in my room currently uh, that I bought for winter because a lot of the time it's absolutely freezing to go out and the show must go on but I can't fathom the thought sometimes of going outside and doing a, tre uh, doing a walk in this minus a million degrees, over exaggeration but uh, it's absolutely freezing. Um, but then I'm doing a lot of home muscle work workout core routine. You guys know I'm an avid crossfitter and at the moment the crossfit gym is closed which means I'm doing a lot of muscle training, muscle workouts, workouts because I'm trying to get more lean. Now I've lost a lot of weight but I'm trying to really tone and lean at my body to really have those intense visible abs, to have those intense structured toned figure and although I'm so close and very much nearly there I'm experimenting with different muscle toning workouts, different elements, different exercises to give me the best possible results to exactly where I want to be. In terms of weight, I'm probably only about seven pounds away from my goal, which is really, really exciting to be that close, but it's just working out, reducing my body fat percentage, as well as losing that weight with in parallel, rather than just losing weight alone, because I'll end up having to tone up anyway to look leaner. That's my current routine.
routine. I'm doing home workouts. I use my own personal workout program and I'm just trying to sh do little bits each time. My workouts normally last about half an hour every single day. If I'm extremely busy, it'll be 20 minutes, but I work out six days a week at the moment. And if I'm really, really busy, it'll be four, but I still get my results. So slow and steady wins the race. And I am maintaining that routine, everything like that. I do have a recipes and food video coming up very, very soon. I'm pretty sure it's the next video. I'm pretty sure it's the next video. But if you want to see that, do stay in tune, subscribe and give this video a massive thumbs up. Turn your bell notifications on to get notified every single time that I upload because we've got exciting weight tips videos all throughout December. They're going to be more relaxed, more chatty, more variety. So do subscribe to be in tune with that. And don't forget to come over and follow my inspirational fitness page on Instagram as well as my podcast page as well. And I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye guys.